It told the family is full of gratitude for the way others helped them after they were robbed. Thanks for staying with us at 930. I'm Tatum Gwynn and I'm Jonathan Cooper. Last month we told you about a porch pirate taking life sustaining medical equipment for 12 year old Ruth Ann McLaughlin. News on 6's Lex Rodriguez joins us with how the family says a selfish moment turned into something good. Lex. Jonathan and Tatum, Andrea McLaughlin says she didn't know how she would make it through the next month, but she says that's a worry God took care of. It wasn't long ago the rumble of a generator echoed through the entire house. It was like I was dreaming of a train every night because of the rumble, because it was right outside our bedroom. And I couldn't figure out why am I doing a train? Like, oh, it's the generator. Now power is restored, and so is their faith in humanity. I know now there's good people out there, and I really believe that the good people are away, the bad apples. Andrea says shortly after News on 6 aired her story about a thief who stole her daughter's medical equipment, love and compassion came pouring in. Because of the story, we were able to get everything replaced that we needed replaced. Andrea says All Saints Home Medical reached out and replaced all but two things her daughter Ruthann needed. Within the next day, we were contacted by two people who have children with special needs who had extra things, and they were able to replace those two things. Andrea's husband started a GoFundMe to help cover bills with a goal of $3,000. But community support poured in and the family received more than $6,000 through the GoFundMe and other donations. A lot of times when you have a child with special needs, you feel very isolated. You feel that nobody else understands that you're you all alone. She says the whole experience and compassion from others brought her family closer than ever before. We depend on each other anyways, but I think it's just kind of strengthen our relationships with each other. Andrea says the GoFundMe also raised enough money to pay for a mail security box to prevent this from happening to her family again. Lex Rodriguez, Oklahoma Zone News on 6.